Hello loves. This is a fun thing I'm going to show you. This is uh, the November 77 issue of Bomp magazine, which has, as you can see, an article called Going All the Way with Blondie. So if you open it up, aha, uh -huh, the first thing you notice is a little Debbie face. And the name of their article is, what the hell is the name of their article? Blondie to the Roots, Beneath All the Glamour and Tinsel by Terry Morris. Okay, let's go to page 55. I think it's near the back. And this is a fun magazine because it's got like ads for things that Debbie is also in, like t-shirts. And this is like, there's one right now. Look at that. It doesn't even look like her. Looks like Chico Rivera in Debbie's dress. Is that the right name? Chico Rivera? Chica? Chico? I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, here's the article. Blondie, going all the way. This is the, I saw this in 1979 for the first time. And this was the first time I saw this car crash picture. This is a montage by Debbie, according to the uh, caption. Uh, it's the Bob Gruen picture we all know and love, or the Bob Gru Gruen photo session. Then, of course, another Bob Gruen picture. We love that session. I'm not going to read the article. I'm just going to show you the pictures. This was on the back of the uh, Quarter to Dollars bootleg. They just grabbed it with this, like, exaggerated halftone dot matrix effect. And Miss Trixie Coquette, yes. I believed this when I read it as a 14-year-old. The girl on the left is Miss Trixie Coquette, Miss Las Vegas pom-pom girl of 77 and winner of the Debbie Harry Lookalike Contest, believe it or not. I was so stupid that I believed it. I thought that was a girl who looked like Debbie. Yet another Bob Gruen picture. This must have been a payday for Bob using all these pictures. I love this caption. Which of the following is, things is wrong with this picture? One, girl wearing man's tie. Two, background skyline of New York City is phony. Three, bass player on right wearing hairpiece. Four, man in hairpiece at right, not bass player. Five, all of the above. Of course, I also thought that meant this was a hairpiece because I was gullible. Steve Martin. Anyway, these old magazines are fun. I mean... I understand why people don't want to own too much these days. They want to keep everything in the cloud nice and clean and not have boxes and boxes of old artifacts. But once in a while, the old artifacts are neat because they just give you such a nice time capsule of a time and a place and the flavor of what it was like then, you know, like sometimes looking backwards at Blondie now through the prism of hindsight, you lose that original campy streety, uh, edginess that was part of their charm in the beginning. And then when you, you really get a flavor for that when you look at these things, these layouts. So there you go, Bump Magazine.